Creating events inside of Google Tag Manager is the fastest way to insights that you can use to help increase your conversion rate. What can events inside of GTM do? Ultimately, what we're doing is pushing additional data into Google Analytics, like this report here, which is showing clicks on our main navigation, how many people are clicking, and what's the conversion rate differences. Or this example, which is looking at interactions on our product page, what are people doing, and how is it impacting their conversion rate. Our new Chrome extension allows you to point and click on your website, which will automatically create the tags and triggers that Google Tag Manager needs to push this data to your analytics account. Once you've installed our Chrome extension, all you have to do is enter your tracking ID, save your settings, and now you're ready to start tagging your site. We have three different types of triggers that you can create, a click, visibility, or page view and you have all of these event details that you fill out in this one simple form to create the event. Here's how it works. First, let's click on the click-based trigger, and you'll see I can navigate my mouse around the site, and you'll see it's selecting in that green box different areas. Let's say we wanna know how many people are clicking on the review star ratings. So we just point and click. You'll see the CSS selector has been automatically grabbed for us, and we'll say the event name is reviews, stars, click, and our event category is a product page, and our event action, review stars, click, and we want this to trigger on all of the product pages across the site. So we'll click create event, and now we can scroll down and let's see uh, how many people are ultimately clicking on our UGC content here. So one big benefit to our extension is you don't necessarily need to create an event for every single image here. If you select the entire container, then anything that is contained within this, so whether it was the title or all of these additional images, it'll, our trigger will automatically capture anything that falls within this container. So it's a really simple way to expedite that process of tagging large areas of your site. So we'll point and click here. We have our event name of UGC click, our event category product, event action, is UGC click. And again, the event action is ultimately what we see here in our Google Analytics behavior reports. You can actually add a variable to the end of this. So if we wanted to dynamically pick up the click URL so we can see what images people are clicking on more than others and ultimately the conversion rate for that, we can do that here. Now let's create this event and let's look at how the process of getting these events into your Google Tag Manager account works. Our free account allows you to download the container that you can just save to your laptop. You can head over to, over to GTM, we'll go to admin, import container, choose container file, and we'll merge this in. And you'll see the two tags and two triggers that we need to track those events on our site have been automatically created and all I have to do at this point is publish this container. And now I'll be tracking users that are interacting on my product page that I can use to make that better decisions for either A-B testing or where to drive people on my site. That's a quick view into how our new free Chrome extension works. Go ahead and download it. Give it a try. If you have any questions, feedback, let us know. Happy tagging.